SQL Server indexing basics. What are your takeaways uh, for, from this session? We are not going to talk about index tuning. We are not to going to talk about advanced concepts. This is Consider this as, an, uh, as part one, introduction to indexes. And as I always do, I'm going to do a part two where we are going to go to the intermediate level. And then I'm going to do part three where we will discuss advanced stuff. So this is for people who are kind of new to SQL Server, or maybe you're working with SQL Server in some ways, um, uh, like six months or a year, you kind of got, you, you got started as an accidental DBA, which is you really did not have much formal training on SQL Server, but you just landed up working on the products, supporting databases and ensuring they're online and doing the DBA tasks. So this session is really going to help you understand what is the index structure all about and how it works inside SQL Server. Okay, so let's get started. AdventureWorks 2016 is the demo database that comes with SQL Server. And nowadays uh, you got to kind of download it and then install it separately. Uh, it does not ship with the product. In the early days that used to happen. So I have installed AdventureWorks 2016. And there is a table in AdventureWorks 2016 called sales order header. So this table has a lot of sales data. So if you look at this table, you have sales order ID, different uh, attributes that are talking about dates, and then a lot of information about the order itself. Now, first things first, what I am going to do is create a copy of this table. So I'll take sales order header. I'm writing a select star into statement and getting all the data into this table called SOH, just a copy. So let's go and create this table. Okay, so about 31,000 rows have been copied into this table. Now, all of you know what is this? This is a heap right? A table without a clustered index is called a heap. A table without a clustered index, but can have a non-clustered index, even that's called a heap. So if you talk about the heap illustration, so that's the technical term heap, which means there is no specific order to the data pages. And I've done something funny here in management studio using just dashes and comments here. So Consider each box here like a page. So this is a page, this one, this one. And you can see these are just random pages that are laid down on the disk. There is no specific order to these pages. This is what is a heap. So this table could have like 100 pages. Each page is 8 KB. And um, there could be 100 pages, 1000 pages, depending on the size of the data. And they're just a bunch of pages lying on the disk without any specific order. And this is what I'm trying to demonstrate using this illustration. Okay, fair, good enough. Now I want to verify that. So I'm, what I'm going to do is use a system stored procedure called SP underscore help index and pass this parameter, which is the name of the table along with the schema. So sales here is the schema sales dot SOH. It's always a good practice to kind of prefix the table with the schema name. Let's go and execute. Remember those days when we were all dealing with just DBO all the time. Anyway, <clears throat> now the output here clearly says that the object SOH does not have any indexes. So as you know, we just created a brand new table, which is a heap and there are no indexes. There's another way to verify this. Now, SP help index uh, gives index information. And let me tell you, SP underscore help index is, is one of those oldest system stored procedures that gives you index information. But starting from SQL Server 2005 onwards, you know, we have something called as dynamic management views, right? DMVs. And these DMVs give you a lot more information. So depending on what you're comfortable with and the kind of data that you want to extract, you could use this DMV called sys DMDB. So this stands for uh, DM stands for as DMV prefix. DB stands for database index physical stats. So I can, I am passing the name of the database I'm passing the name of the object. And a, a few other parameters, it's not important to discuss them right now. And when I execute this, I will get some information. So this DMV tells me that the object that I'm looking upon right now is a heap. This is the object ID. This is the database ID. 